Hi, my name is Adrienne Barber, and I'm the author and illustrator of this book, School Coronavirus Do's and Don'ts. A few months ago, a lot of new things started happening in our lives, and we had to start being careful and making some changes. And I brought my classroom home right here. You can see it. This is where I teach my students who are so amazing, just like you. They're so smart, and they're learning in all these new ways, sometimes in classroom and sometimes on the other side of a computer like you are right now. So today I would like to read you my book, School Coronavirus Do's and Don'ts. And I wrote it and I drew the pictures. And afterwards, I would love it if you joined me for a quick drawing lesson and a science experiment. My students love science experiments. So this is called School Coronavirus Do's and Don'ts. It comes in seven languages, this one, is in Mandarin. My student actually translated it. My seven-year-old student helped me with that. Without further ado, I'm going to read, then we'll do some drawing, and a science experiment. I hope you enjoy. School Coronavirus Do's and Don'ts by Adrian Barber. For the children in my class and around the world who give us all joy and hope, dedicated to Russell and Rose who fill our home with music, art, and love. School may look different this year. There will be many things to remember. Here are a few do's and don'ts to guide you along the way. Do wear a mask on your face. Don't wear a mask on your elbows. Do share ideas. Don't share your brother. Do wash your hands with soap and sanitizer. Mr. Soap and Miss Sanitizer. Don't wash your hands with macaroni and cheese. Do wash your hands for 20 seconds. 20 seconds to wash the germs away. Don't wash your hands for 20 years. Do stay home when you don't feel well. Don't fly to outer space when you don't feel well. Do work hard in class and at home. Don't eat your homework. Do stay safely apart six plus feet. Don't do it by digging a hole under the playground. Do join in on class, do join in on class meetings. Don't turn your picture into a potato. Do find a good place to learn. Don't make it out of marshmallows. Do mute yourself sometimes. Don't mute your cat. Do keep your hands off your face. Don't put donuts on your face. Do exercise to stay healthy. Don't exercise with an alligator. Even though some things are different, others remain the same. We keep laughing, learning, and loving each other. And that's the end of my book that I wrote and drew the pictures for. And I know that you have super talents and you can draw pictures too. So I'm going to show you how to draw some quick pictures, some from the book and some from my brain because I just think of new ideas when I'm making art like you. So all you need for this part is your very own whiteboard and a marker or a pencil and a paper, or you can just watch if you like to watch, think, and then make art on your own. So I'm just going to do some simple drawings that are based on shapes. I like to do shape drawings. So I'm going to draw 
a couple of kids. Here's a kid, it might be you. And you know what that shape is? That's just a circle. And I'm gonna draw a friend over here. And these friends are close together. These are just some friends in the pictures. It doesn't have to be just like the story. I'm gonna make a super easy, super easy body that looks like a rectangle. It's a peg body. I'm gonna make this one that looks kind of like a triangle. And if I draw a line here and that letter there, it's, I mean, that, that's not a letter. It's kind of like a U. Then I've made somebody with overalls. And I like to make two ovals for shoes. Now, something is terribly wrong. These children have no arms. Arms are not so bad at all. They are two parallel lines, just like that. And if you draw that across, then you're making a shirt and some hands. If you're not so great at hands, you can put hands behind the back, hands in the pockets. I made very big heads on my children. I'm gonna make this boy have hair that looks like that. He had a new haircut. And easy eyes are two dots. You can make eyes in all kinds of ways. And he is gonna wear a mask. Sometimes when I'm around people, I stay far apart and I always wear a mask when I go riding on my bike or I go to pick up some coffee. And this will be a picture of a girl with really cool hair. She has curly hair. And she is a friend who's gonna wear a mask. If you don't wanna put a mask on your friends, you don't have to in these pictures. So she's gonna, her, oh, her nose isn't supposed to be in the mask. Put your nose in the mask. That was silly of me. And she has some feet and she has some easy arms and she likes hearts on her dress. Okay, those are shaped children. I'm gonna draw also a few other things that are very easy to make out of shapes. Those are some shaped children. Here is another shaped creature. Bye-bye shaped children, we'll see you again. This is my favorite shaped creature. It's a circle, and a circle, and a circle. What on earth is that? It is very hard to tell. But it is my friend, Mr. Piggle. Mr. Piggle is in my class, Mr. Piggle. And I'm gonna draw a version of Mr. Piggle that's very simple. Mr. Piggle needs some nostrils. Mr. Piggle needs two triangle ears. Mr. Piggle needs two triangle eyes. Those are not triangles. Oh, silly me. Two circle eyes. And some piggy hooves and a curly tail and a speech bubble where he says oink. Those are shape pictures. You can make all kinds of things out of shapes. Trees and flowers, people and piggies. And I encourage you to make art yourself at home. Okay, for the final activity, I am so excited to show you a very easy science experiment you can do at home with your family. Um, you don't need very fancy things for this science experiment. What you do need is a bowl of water. And my bowl is a little bit flat. It does not need to look just like my bowl. Sometimes my students say, does it have to be exactly the same? And I say, no way. And you will also need um, herbs. So I'm using pepper. But I think we could try a lot of things with this experiment. I think you could find dried up leaves from outside your house. If you have leaves outside, you could find a different herb. But always ask permission before you use some things from the kitchen because that might be what your parents need to cook with. But this is something I have extra. I have a lot of extra pepper. Pepper goes in my bowl. And this pepper represents germs. There's germs. There's Germs we do not need to be scared, but we need to be careful of sometimes. So these are germs, and germs like to hang out together. You can see they kind of hang it out together. They're clustered up. And if I put my finger in, 
some of them will go away from each other. They'll go a little away from my finger. But watch what happens with these pepper germs. These are pretend germs for our science experiment. Watch what happens when I put in magical soap. This is soap for dishes, but you can use any kind of soap. Watch what happened when the soap goes in. What happened to our germs? The germs do not like the soap. They want to go away from the soap. So this is kind of like a magical experiment you can do at home. You just need water, a little pepper, and a little soap. And if you put your finger in, you can chase around those germs, because these aren't real germs, and see what happens. Try different soaps, try different herbs, and see what happens. It was very fun to make this quick video with you. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope that you're having adventures at home and you're learning and doing wonderful things with your families and making memories and staying safe and strong and happy and healthy. Until next time, bye.